And we are back. Yes, I know. It's been a long time. It's been probably, so I think it's been about almost two weeks since we've uploaded a video. Actually, it might be exactly two weeks since we uploaded a video last. And there's a lot of things happening, a lot of new stuff going on. So here's the truck for those of you who have not seen it yet. It's in its original state that we purchased it in, aside from putting fourth gen stocks on it instead of the federal tires and cheaper rims that were on it that were pretty pitted and beat up. So this is the current state of the truck. We just got it, we parked it, we went on vacation, we're back now. So now the fun part begins. Well, let's do a quick recap on the truck. It's a 2001 2500. It's got the Laramie interior in it and it's in actually really, really good shape. No rips or tears in the seats. A little bit of cracking starting, but nothing through. You know what I'm saying? So overall, it's in really, really good shape. The dash is in really good shape. Nothing's cracked or split or anything. Truck's got 133,000 miles on it. There's a couple of main things we're gonna be doing, and I explained that in the previous video. So if you haven't seen the previous video explaining what all we're gonna be doing to the truck, go check that out so I don't have to spend five minutes of this video doing the same thing again with this one. But today we're gonna get started with the next few items that we wanna get done to this thing. And that's gonna entail some lighting upgrades. But first, let's get a cold start. Wait to start. Perfect. And we are gonna be putting a new hood on the truck. The reason for that is if you look right here, the hood's got a little bit of a bend in it, it's chipping on the door, and it's got a little flaw right there where it came up and bent it, and the hood just, it's kind of, it didn't sit right on the truck. But I did find a brand new, well, not brand new, but a new, great condition, second gen hood, along with new hinges for the truck, so that way the hood will be perfect, and the alignment of the hood will be spot on, because that's really the thing that bugs me the most about the truck. It's a low mileage truck though, and it runs and drives amazing. So we're just gonna have to work with the small flaws to get what we really want. Because keep in mind, the truck is 20 years old. So it's not gonna be perfect unless you're gonna pay perfect price, which is super, super expensive. So let's get this thing the way we want it for you guys. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna swap out are the headlights. There's nothing really wrong with the headlights. They're just not very bright, and I just prefer the one-piece style. So we got some new headlights for that. We're gonna throw those in right now. So here's some LEDs that I bought for them. Not sure if I've used that brand before or not. I've used so many different brands of LEDs, it's hard to keep track of which ones I like the most. But I've never been dissatisfied, I would say, with buying LEDs over halogens in almost any case. And there they are, they got the plastic film on them, but we're gonna wait to take that off until the headlights are installed. That way, hopefully we don't scratch anything up, but that's the one piece that we're gonna put in the truck. Another thing, we do have a winner for the blue first gen, which is currently at a pump shop where I got the pump rebuilt. I'm having them fine tune the pump because I'm not completely content with how I installed that governor spring. And they said, no big deal, we'll get in there, we'll adjust it so it's perfect. So that's where it's at right now. But we do have a winner for that truck and it's Corey Brandsgrove out of Oklahoma. So I believe that's our first Oklahoma winner. Congratulations, man. Hopefully you enjoy the truck as soon as it gets back. Hopefully before the weekend we'll have tint installed, the new front leveling kit, and the center console installed, and then that truck's gonna be getting loaded up probably mid next week and shipped on off to Oklahoma. So let's get to installing these things right now. Headlights are in and they are freaking bright. The hood is such a killer. I know, the hood is a killer. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix all the little paint chips and imperfections on it. But here's the headlights. They are installed, super clean, crisp, one piece headlight with not two different bulbs for a high and a low beam. It's a single bulb with a dual function. So we're gonna flip it on. 
There is the set when they're on. Okay, that was high beam. My bad. High beams are off now. <laughs> now these are your low beams. My bad. You can see they get really bright when you crouch down versus the other ones are super bright when I'm standing up a little bit higher. They look super good, super clean. They're functional. I love them. Now everybody has their preference. Some guys are super torn up in terms of what to go with, you know, one piece headlight, two piece headlight, whatever. For these trucks, I prefer one piece. Two piece might be a little bit easier to install when you don't have a bumper with an ugly gap like this one. But in this situation, I mean, it's, it's not a big deal, it's really just preference, but the one piece are gonna be a little bit more of a pain to install if you have a tight fitted bumper. But either way, it's not that hard to manage it. It really is not a big deal. And I personally really like this look. So now we're gonna work on the tails and get these swapped out with a much nicer set. Okay, now let's get to the tail lights and that third brake light. For the reverse lights on the rear, we're gonna put some LED reverse lights in there. Okay, the tails are installed, they are in place. So what we're gonna do is flip the switch to auto for the day lights. There are the tails. This truck is super dirty. Please excuse the grime and grease. Here's the headlights. And no, they're not flickering the camera, just sometimes can't pick up everything perfectly. Vinkel, Schnout, the cat. I did not name the cat. My cousins that we picked it up off of, they're you know, little girls, they named it. Creative little name. Anyways, there it is. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today's video, but a couple of things I wanna talk about real quick. The giveaway for this truck starts on January 11th, which is next Monday. It's coming up quick. We're gonna be having a limited drop for the first week, and we haven't done a lot of big new merch drops in a long time, but for the first week of this next giveaway, be ready, because we're gonna be doing a limited drop of items that you can only get the first week. It's gonna be a bunch of new stuff, and then it's gonna be gone. So I don't want you guys to miss that stuff, because there's a lot of people that have talked about how they want new products, and so what we're gonna do is try to release new products. Not every week, but every giveaway, once or twice, we're gonna do a new product drop and drop a couple of new fresh items for the people that have already bought most of the stuff on the store and they're looking for something new to buy. We're gonna be doing some drops of several different items for a couple days, sometimes up to a week at a time for you guys to be able to get in on those products before they sell out. But then once those particular items sell out, they're not gonna be available again for the rest of that giveaway. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, yeah, we got some small progress on the truck today. Tonight I'm supposed to be picking up the new hood for the truck and the new hinges, and then uh, we're gonna get that going so that way we can get this thing thrown over there at the paint and body shop. They can, you know, paint match the hood and get that corrected. And then all the spots where there's like just paint chips and stuff that are just kind of annoying, he's gonna go through and, you know, work down those spots and redo them so that the truck has amazing paint again so you know the guy we always take our stuff has done a really good job with almost everything that we've ever taken there so i have no doubts that he's going to make this thing look a1 it's going to look awesome yeah just cannot wait to get this thing underway and going and this truck should be done before the giveaway is over so almost everything that we're going to be doing to this truck is already on order and a lot of it's already here so we're going to get some paint correction stuff done and that should only take a couple of days then we're going to be doing you know new front bumper possibly new rear bumper and then the suspension's going in wheels are on order tires we're still deciding exactly what we want to go with just some small stuff like that but you guys are going to get to see this truck during this giveaway from start to finish all i can tell you is that it's going to be amazing when it's done and you're not going to want to miss out on it again thank you guys so much for all the support. Couldn't do what we do without you guys, and I wholeheartedly mean that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.